So how would you like to introduce yourself? Um, so I'm Marissa Jenkins, um, owner, um, uh, I'll say entrepreneur. I own a um, Freedom Apothecary, um, which is a clean beauty, um, retail, wellness, and lifestyle space in Philadelphia. Um, the brick and mortar, I should say. Mm-hmm. Can you hear that? that I think that I heard beep that, that beep. Yeah. Is that your phone? Yeah. I'm yeah, just yeah. turn so it you're, off. Sorry. So you're a real entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> you're lying jumping, yo. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's see if I can get rid of that. Um, but yeah. So yeah, uh, I'm a mom. I have two girls that are seven and three. Mm-hmm. Um, originally from Mississippi. Okay. Uh, so. That. Okay. Yeah, let's let's start there. <laughs> oh, you're still, your phone's still your phone's still ringing. <laughs> but, I don't know uh, how to make it stop. It's it's on my computer now. Oh, okay. oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> no, you good. You good. We'll we'll make it work. Um, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll edit it in post. <laughs> but uh, so let's kind of start at the beginning. You know, I think obviously we, we know you now as this entrepreneur, you got this whole mm-hmm. business, but I'm always curious as to like how people grow up. Cause I feel like that tells you a lot about what you're doing. Wow. Cause I feel like what you're doing is kind of unique. Right. So like, if you want to start at your childhood, where are you from again? Kind of how were you mm-hmm. raised? And then we'll go from there. Yeah. So I'm from Laurel, Mississippi, probably I'm sure nobody's heard of it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my friend, maybe some of my friends that are on here. Um, yeah. But um, Laurel, Mississippi, small town, um, maybe like 20,000 people. Um, I I guess I grew up with a single mom. Um, my parents separated when I was like five years old. Um, but my dad was always around. Um, I'm the youngest of three and the mm-hmm. only girl. Um, so I'm the baby girl. I was, I was probably pretty... <laughs> pretty damn spoiled growing up because my <laughs> my brothers were like seven years older and like 13 oh, okay. years older than me so I was kind of like the only one at, at home um yeah but um I guess I could say like growing up I kind of always knew that I didn't like I wanted to be an entrepreneur like I didn't necessarily want to go like go work a nine to five or whatever um at what age did you feel like you felt that though like, <laughs> since you were that young or when I, so my mom tells me all the time, like she says, when I was like six, that I told her, like, like I'm ne- like I'm gonna make a lot of money one day. Um, my name is gonna be in lights, whatever the hell that meant. Um, and okay. and I told her, she always cracks jokes. She's like, and you told me you were gonna make enough money that when I got old, you were gonna put me in a really nice nursing home. I mean, <laughs> which is mean, like that's mean as hell, right? Yeah, but, that's mad morbid. Um, <laughs> But like, she was like, you know, you always would say that you were just going to do your own thing and like, you know, make your own money or whatever. Um, So yeah, that's, that's just kind (laughs) of, that's, that's very interesting. Cause I feel like a lot of people, I mean, even when I was young.